What is going on, everybody? I hope everybody's having a fantastic week. Hope you guys enjoyed your Memorial Day weekend. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Black Apito, the Apple Guy, and my channel specializes in tech tutorials, a little bit of some tech reviews, and some unboxings. And today, I am doing another tutorial, and this is a follow-up video to um, something I did a while back ago for how to transfer photos from your camera or from a GoPro to your iPad or iPhone. Now, assuming that you still own a much older Apple device, you would be using what is known as a Lightning to uh, US or I'm sorry, Lightning to SD card reader. That's if you have a uh, an older iPad. So if you have like the sixth, the seventh, or the eighth gen iPads, with the eighth gen being the newest one, if you wanted to transfer photos and videos from your camera to your iPad, you can export that easily with that device. Um, I won't go too much into specifics on that one. I'll drop a link in the description for that video if you want to take a look at that. But if you have a newer device, say you have the iPad Air or the iPad uh, iPad Pros, you have one of the newer iPhones, say the 10, or I'm sorry, the 11 or the 12, uh, you can't really do it that way because there's really two different ways you can do that. There is one way, which is simply doing it this. This is what is known as a USB-C um, SD card reader. This would simply just plug into the back of your iPad Air or your iPad Pro because those specifically use USB-C. Now when it comes to iPhones, whether it's the 11 or the 12, um, you, I don't believe you can actually do this with the 12 because I have the 12 mini, so typically you would just pop it in there. But um, unfortunately, this will not fit into that because even though the iPad 12 and the iPad, or I'm sorry, the iPhone 12 and the iPhone 11 use USB-C on to charge up the phone, the connector is still lightning. So you would still have to use what is known as a USB, uh, USB, or you would still have to use a lightning to USB for any type of device that you want to use that. So hence, something like this, which is known as a SanDisk iExpand. Now I made a video similar to this for the iPad, so if you want to learn how to do that, you can if you're using the iPad 8th gen, but again, if you have an 11th, uh, 4th gen iPad Air or a newer iPad Pro, which pretty much all the iPad Pros have USB-Cs, you cannot use this because, again, this has the lightning connection, not a USB-C connection, but if you have a iPhone 11 or an iPhone 12, then you simply can just plug this directly into that, as you can see, and that's how that works. Now again, um, I made a video on how to do this with your iPhone or with your iPad. So basically, it's about the same in the sense if you have an iPad 8th gen, um, then connecting this to that would be the same way as doing it for the iPhone as I don't see it changing. Maybe on the iPhone 13, it might go from USB-C to USB-C like the Air and the Pro. But until then, if you want to manually back up your photos and videos, to a simple hard drive this would be the easiest way to do that and again i have a link in the description if you want to watch the one on the ipad because it basically shows you how to do that which is pretty easy this video actually i'm going to show you how to do this a different way and i'm going to show you how to do it wirelessly with this this is what is known as a sandisk connect i did an unboxing of this and talked a little bit about it before in a in a video a couple years ago and i still get a lot of people who uh, are a little bit hesitant when it comes to wanting to back up their photos on iCloud. They want to use an external hard drive and it's kind of hard to do that on an iPad because you have to buy other devices to connect to it. To do that you may not feel like you want to carry that around to do that but with something like this you can literally do it all wirelessly. With this it creates its own Wi-Fi. It does come in three different sizes. There's a 32, a 64, and, a, and I believe it's a 240 or 248 or um, a 120. I know there's a larger size other than 64, but I have the 64 gig. So I'll have a link in the description below uh, for the website if you want to take a look at the SAN Disconnect. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to show you how you can wirelessly connect this to your iPad. Now, this doesn't matter which iPad you have. This works on pretty much all Apple devices, whether you have an iPhone 11, uh, 12, or a 10, uh, or if you have an iPad 8th gen, 7th, or 6th, or the Air 
or the iPad Pro. This all works basically the same way. It just wirelessly connects to this and you can wirelessly transfer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do that with this in this tutorial. So we're going to get into that tutorial now. Okay, as you can see here, we have my simple iPad Air. So I'm going to zoom out a little really quick. So you can see all of it. It's my iPad Air. This here is my SanDisk uh, Connect. So what we're going to do is you're actually going to go into the App Store and you're going to download what is known as the Connect for SanDisk, which I already have. So as you can see here, it's called Connect Drive. So you're going to tap on that. Now, I already have this, so this is going to be a little bit different for me. So um, we're going to actually go to the front of the page and we're going to see, I'll show you exactly what it looks like when you first open up the app. So this is what it's going to look like when you download the app. It'll show this, it'll show connect, and it'll just keep spinning. Now at this point, you have to turn on your SanDisk uh, connect, and there is a button, as you can see, hello, convert to the uh, connect the driver to get started. So this is the screen that you're originally going to see when you first initiate the app. And then, like I said before, on the SanDisk connect, if you turn on the device, it's going to be on the side, so it'll be right here. It'll be on the right side of the USB. You'll notice this little power thing there. You simply just tap that, and then you'll see there'll be a little white light right there. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to actually have to go into the Wi-Fi settings of your device to connect it. So go to settings. Now, again, I've already had this connected to my device, so I'm going to go to Wi-Fi. And then it's going to show, it should show my uh, SanDisk on here. If not, if it doesn't show it, then you simply just press on it again because sometimes you got to press the button more than once to actually uh, show it, have it uh, be displayed on the available Wi Fi options. So it's possible that this could be dead also because I haven't used it in quite a while. So it'll pop under my networks because again as I said before I've had this already paired so it's paired practically for life until I uh, have the device forget it so as you can see it picks it up so what we're gonna do is we're gonna tap on the sand disconnect and then it will connect to that now this creates its own Wi-Fi signal so you don't have to worry about needing to be in your home to do this or in a hotel and use the Wi-Fi at your home or your Wi-Fi at a hotel you simply just can use the Wi-Fi on this because it has its own onboard Wi-Fi. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the app itself. It tells you to hello connect and then as you can see it brings me to a different type of menu settings. Now I'll try and darken this out so I can see if it will show it. Okay so on the left hand side it's going to show folders and these are folders that I created already on my sand disk and this is just the little area where you can show what you are connect or what you're going to be posting on this so if you tap on a photo it'll show you there for what you've already transferred this will be your layout button on the bottom you simply tap on that and then it gives you sort order from ascending or descending and you can sort by alphabet date added file size or file type and then select. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to select and I forget the light that's right there because I'm I have this like right up under my um, overhead light. But we're going to start off by simply tapping on the plus button which is on the middle of the uh, display here. Tap on that. And then what this is going to do is it's going to show me all the pictures that I have on my iPad. So we're going to select a few and then we're going to select a folder to add it to. So we're just going to do um, this one, this one, this one, and this one. And it's going to ask for set destination. So we're going to tap on set destination. And then again, these are all the folders that I already added to my SAN Disconnect. But if I want to make a new folder, I would simply just tap on new folder. But we're going to put it in. Um, and we'll just throw it on something. We'll just uh, put it on photos. No, actually I've already got it on there. So we're actually going to just copy it here instead of putting it in a folder. So we'll just hit copy here. And then as you can see, it's transferring the pictures. 
one by one. And then it says four files successfully added to the connect driver. So they've already been automatically connected to this. Hit OK. Then I just scroll down. And as you can see right there, these right here, the ones that aren't showing their pictures, they're at, those are actually going to be pictures. So you simply just tap on it. And as you can see, that's one picture. Tap on that one. That is another picture. Tap on this one. That, again, is another picture. And then tap on that one, which is also, I believe that might have been a JPEG picture. So it might take it a bit for it to load up. So you can also load videos on this. So if you have videos that you want to add onto this, you simply would do the same process, only it would be videos being uploaded and not photos. So I hope that this video was helpful. If it was, please give me a thumbs up as these do help me create better content. And um, one more thing I wanted to show also is, if you notice on the side it says drive battery remaining, this will also show you the battery life of the, uh, of the sand disconnect. This will be the iPad free space remaining and drive space remaining. So you get one, you get three different notifications, one for your battery, one for how much space you have on your uh, Apple device, whether it's the iPad or if it's an iPhone. And then you got one also for the internal storage of the sand disconnect itself. So again, I just want to point that out just in case you want to know exactly how to figure out how much space you have on this so you don't accidentally start putting things on here and then you run out of space. So again, I hope that this video was helpful. If it was, please give me a thumbs up as these likes do help me create better content. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to smash that subscribe button, hit the bell notification that we don't miss content when I drop it. And I do have a ton more Apple tutorials. If you want to take a look at those, I'll have a link for those in the bottom. And I'm going to thank everybody for watching this video. And again, my name is Black Apino, the Apple guy, and I will see you guys in the next video.